Okay, well, um, I'm gonna get started. I was was had time blocked an hour out for this, um, but I think today it's not gonna quite be an hour. I've had a, a change in um, an appointment that was supposed to not even be until Wednesday. Um, and the doctor called this morning, they're doing it like via Skype. And something's happened to her schedule on Wednesday. I didn't get an explanation. I just know that everything is getting pushed up till today and tomorrow. So um, I got pushed up to today. So I'm gonna, I'm only gonna take about 30 minutes, which is fine. Um, Cause I think what I wanna do today will get, will be plenty of time for that. Um, and I don't know the con current condition of your all's business. That's one downfall to, to me not knowing you guys as well as I'd like to just yet. Um, but I'm just gonna start on a real basic level and then I'm gonna just kind of see what you all want or need from there and whether it's one-on-one -on -one or by continuing to do these regularly on the same topic until we feel good about it, um, I'm open to either one. I know in our other market center, I have a lot of uh, one-on-ones with agents um, because they prefer it that way and that they learn better that way and it's more um, geared towards their particular business. So I'm good either way. So I'm going to share my screen with you guys. All right, can you all see the screen? Yes? Yes. Okay. All right, and you can feel free to unmute yourself if you want, um, unless you do have a lot of background noise. Um, I'd rather have interaction than complete silence. Um, <laughs> so, so I've put some things up on the screen that basically describe a financially sound business. Um, having a goal that funds your life um, and so on. You can kind of read through that yourself. And it's usually kind of scary when you read through that because it's, I mean, personally speaking, it's like, goodness, you know, a lot of those areas, saving the way that I should and so on, um, I probably am not as good at as I should be. There's always room for improvement. But um, that's kind of like a good um, outline of a financially sound business. And now I'm going to go to the next slide. Well, it's gone the wrong way. All right, this is a, an unsound business. Sorry, I think I skipped it the first time. Um, and it talks about how it just basically um, causes more stress and uh, you end up spending more money than you should. Um, and it just kind of inhibits your opportunity and your room for growth. So um, there are two different ways um, that you can kind of keep up that uh, Keller Williams, two different models that they have in place, your um, MREA, and your trend report. Are you both familiar with those? No. Yes. Okay. So, did, Angie, did you say yes? Yes. Okay, do you use both of those currently? Um, hold on, let me turn my video back on. You know what, I am actually, one of my goals right now is I'm switching everything over like actual business stuff. So I haven't used the P&L yet. But that's what I'm working towards. Okay, great. I'm going to go over a P&L today with you. Um, and it's going to be um, in alignment with the MREA. And I've actually got it one generated that I can share with you guys. That's formulated for the shift as well. So it'll automatically calculate all that stuff for you. Um, and then do you look at your trend report? Uh, I don't. Okay, what about you? I'll take that back. I do, like the month over month report. Yeah, your multi-year trends. I do, but not that often. Um, but okay. yeah, I look at that sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Heather, are you familiar with those? I'm familiar with them and I've never used them. Okay, how long have you been an agent with KW? Five years. Okay, Angie, what about you? Uh, 
four four years and something. Okay. Is Robert on the call? I see his name on there. Right. Yeah. Oh. Did he just leave? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm I can hear him. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm listening. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just making sure. I don't want to leave you out. I know. I, I'm just listening because I'm I'm working on something also. Okay. That's fine. That's but fine. I just I just started with KW probably a month and a half ago. Okay, awesome. Well, then this will be good for you to get um, a little bit on the front end of that, at least, to get a jump start. So if you have any questions, Robert, just chime in. That's fine. Okay. All right. So the MREA, um, the P&L, and the Agent Trend Report are probably the two, um, I would say, best bird's eye view of your, of your business and how you're doing. Um, so, um, your multi-year trends, um, a lot of that's going to be, well, your, your commission is going to be on there, your volume, your units closed are going to be on there. Um, what it's, of course, is what it's not going to track are your net incomes, money in the bank. Those are going to come more from your P and L. Um, and the, then of course the law report that kind of goes hand in hand as well with your multi-year trends report. And that's something that you can, um, that you can track and report that I can help you with as well. That's why that's on there. Let's go on. So these are the four um, models from the MREA. You have the economic model, which is the money you'll make, the lead generation model, how you'll make it, your budget model, how you'll spend it, and your organization model, which is who's going to help you get to that, to those goals, right? So um, today we're going to talk about the economic model, which is going to be the 30-30-40 principle. I don't know how familiar you are with that, but basically it's saying of your GCI, 30% 30 30 of that should be spent on your cost of sales 30% on your operating expenses and 40% on your, should be your net income, your profit. So on a $10,000 commission, 3,000 estimated should be cost of sales, 3,000 should be your operating expenses and 4,000 should be your profit. It shouldn't be 30% cost of sales, 70%, payday, go buy all the awesome things that you want. <laughs> so that's the breakdown of what your cost of sales are and what your operating expenses could be. So your cost of sales are going to be like your office commission, royalty fees, if you had to pay any um, referral fees um, or so on to any other agents. And then your operating expenses are going to be your rent, your um, your vehicle, and so on. And notice it does have on there your salary, which means that you pay yourself a salary out of your operating expenses. So according to the MREA, um, a good ideal breakdown of your operating expenses would be what you see there, your salaries, the percentage of your, um, the third, of the 30%, how that would break down to be spent. And that's just an example. That's what they, I guess, kind of um, lean towards. But I, I know that everybody's is going to look a little bit different, but that's the ideal model. And then this is just an example page of, a, of the multi-year trend report. Um, if you've never looked at it, Heather, have you ever pulled yours up and looked at it? Did you say? Mm, a couple of times, but I'm not really good with numbers. Okay. I hate to admit that. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's why they have people like me who love them a lot. <laughs> So your, so your uh, trend reports really, it's, it's, it's kind of a nice, um, way to look and kind of hold yourself accountable to see where you are right now and where you were this time last year. And then to also look at where you want to be this year to see where you're, how on track you are to reaching those goals, those goals you have. Um, 
it tells you like what you're up and what you're down over month over month and year over year. And when it says month over month, it's easy to think it's last month over this month, but it's actually not. It's the same month of last year over the month of this year. Um, and then year over year is year to date of last. So if it's May, it would be January of May over of 19 over January through May of 20. So I always would get so confused in the beginning with the month over a month because I always thought it was last month over the current month, but it's that's not what that is. Now your lower report is your lower report will show last month over this month. So um, let's see. I'm going to show you all. Can you all? All right. Now I'm going to show you this um, example P and L. Get it to come back up. All right. Okay. Can you see the the spreadsheet? Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Is that like crazy to you all? Does it freak you out a little bit? Just a tad. Just a tad. Okay. Well, the, and I can share this with you guys if you all want to use this. Um, you're welcome to. You can, I mean, obviously all these fields that are on here are pre-filled and they're just for an example. They're not, um, they're not reflecting anything um, specifically. Um, so at the top up here are your projected monthly GCI for the month. And then based on whether you're capped or not capped or what you have coming out of those out of your commissions for the particular month, you would fill in what these amounts will be. And then you will have what's left. Um, and then, of course, from that, you can go down and deduct your expenses for the month. And if you haven't taken a good look into your expenses yet, um, I just, I mean, I would suggest everybody do that. We did that as a market center and just cut things that were, that we didn't necessarily need. So um, I would encourage you to make a list. That's what we did. We made a list of all the things in the office we spend money on and we put them into buckets and we basically cut all the ones that weren't necessary. So um, now is just a good time to do that, to make sure that you're saving as much as you can. Um, you will notice that there's two columns here, old budget, new budget, just to see, and you can see kind of what they've cut expense wise, um, as an example, of course. And then you can kind of go down through the rest of the year and put in your projected, and then it'll track it for you um, based on that. You can go all the way down. It's got all kinds of different things on there um, for you to add in. Hey, Nancy, can I ask a question? I'm so sorry. Nope, go ahead. How did you get to this form to start with? Is this How did I get Like this, like what you're going through right now, or is this a budget that you guys already have, or is this a template that we can access? I totally I'm know. I'm going to share it with you. Got it, thank you. Okay. Yeah, I'll send it to you in an email so that you have it. Thank you. I missed that piece. That's okay. Yep. But no, it's not out there anywhere right now. Um, do you know what Angie said? <laughs> what is it? I said ditto what Angie said. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I will share it with you guys for sure so that you all can have it. And then it'll just, it'll basically add everything up for you. And then it'll, it'll give you your, your bottom line, what your, what your profit is going to be for the business. And so, and then you can change things as you get a more accurate, you know, depiction of what that's going to be. Um, so do you all have any specific questions or any, um, 
you all, what, what, what kind of things do you all want from me? What do you all want me to show you, teach you? I don't want to teach you things and show you things that you already know. Um, I want to show things that are going to benefit you. So I need your help in knowing what those things specifically are. Um, I honestly, the biggest thing I need is just the template to actually get started. I feel like I've gone through, I feel like I sit through a lot of things that kind of explains what I have to do, but then it's actually the, the actual, these categories and breaking things down. I, that's where I'm struggling and I don't want to have to like reinvent the wheel if it's already created. Right. So me, I think I need to get this template and really start to fiddle with it before I know what my next questions are. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I'll send it out today so that you can have it. Yep. And then I don't care at all to help you with it if you get it and you need if you need more specific help on it um, at all. Um, I know one thing is making sure that I have the correct list of the difference of a cost of sale versus an operating expense. Um, so I can plan accordingly. So sometimes it's going further in detail, but it looks like like this example that you have already has things like broken down a little bit more. So that could be helpful. Yes. Yeah, so your cost of sale will be your commit your company dollar. If you still if you're not capped, it'll be your royalty dollars. And if that's not capped, if you have to pay a referral fee to someone else, that's the cost of sale. And then anything else that you have to pay before we write you a commission check. So basically it's what it's whatever we write you the commission check for, anything that comes out of that before we write it to you will be a cost of sale. Got it. But like, yeah, and I think I used to be confused over I used to mess up and I I've, I've learned to correct this. I used to mess up that like uh staging or photography or things like that were a cost of sale and they're not they're an operating expense so like right they're an expense trying to clarify so having it on a chart somewhere would be really helpful yep and that was um i have a slide um that was on back and i may have went through it too quick that um had like a list of cost of sale items yeah and I a list of you what i took a picture Okay, good. And I can send out those slides as well so that you have Thank those. You. As, yep, I can show those as well. Um, but I really would like to get you all, um, I'll show you all this really quick. Let's see. I'm going to pull up this floor report. So, and I know this is like a bunch of a bunch more numbers that are really crazy for you all to see um, sometimes, but this is just going to be last month over this month. The top box up here is like what the board did, what um, the board did. The bottom box down here was what our office did, consultants did. This is last month. This is this month. This um, is the difference in the two. And this is the percentage, whether it was an increase or a decrease in the same for up here, okay? And then you go down here and then you compare what the board increased or decreased versus what we went up or down. And then you can look at this column and this is gonna tell you that our office outpaced the board by 27% in closed units last month, okay? So the beauty to this is, is you can also do your personal business. You can look at what you did last month compared to what you did this month. And then you can see based on your increase or decrease, how you compared to the board as well. Um, and if you did, it, if you were far greater in some categories, then of course that's a great addition to add to like a listing presentation or any kind of portfolio that you put together when you go on those types of appointments. And there's all kinds of templates for that as well. Um, I don't know if you've looked at those or not, but there's some templates that are really neat um, that all you basically have to do is plug your numbers in and put your headshot on there and your contact information and it's, you know, it's done. So 
Um, I don't care to help help you guys pull those numbers every month. Most of that's going to come from your multi-year trends. So that's that's just another tool that you have that you can use to help your help with your presentations. All right, does anybody have any other questions? Um, I have one that might be kind of just, this is just kind of for the office in general, Nancy. I don't sure. know if it's like helpful at all, but um, like it might be a good idea to share like how to get started on a PNL and then actually fill in like, this is what your split looks like. So they know how to like put that in because I think there's still a lot of people confused on the difference between a cap and a royalty and all that. All right. So like it, whenever we do that, it, that might be a little bit easier yeah. since we're all in the same splits for the most part. But or yeah. Colin says this is your regular split. This is a team split. I don't know. It's just right. Like yep, that's a good idea for sure. I'll write that down so that they know. Um, all right. Heather, do you have any other questions? No, I think Angie's gotten all my questions out there. <laughs> I was just channeling you, Heather. I was just thinking, what will Heather have questions on? I'll ask them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you and I started about the exact same time. Yeah, we're really similar. Yep. Mm -hmm. Awesome. OK, well, um, if you can't think of any other questions, I won't keep you guys on for long. Um, I just want you all to have, um, be familiar with it and then also just feel comfortable reaching out and asking if you need something or if you just want um, anytime you want just to go over some stuff one-on-one, -on -one, your reports. I know that there's so many reports that are available that it can be overwhelming and some people don't ever even get in there and look through them because there's so many and it can be confusing. So um don't 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 hesitate to just reach out i don't care to go through that with you and show you what those are and how to use them and how they can be beneficial um and the same thing with your p l's and we'll um we'll see if we can't help you guys get some of those numbers in and organized and feel better about it so thanks nancy i appreciate it yep i will send those out to you all in an email and if you need anything else, just let me know. Okay, sounds good. Thank Thanks. you, Nancy. All right. All right. Thank you. I'll talk to you guys later on. All right. All righty. See ya. See ya.